He got a piece of shit manager that stole from him. Bam! He stopped making music, started making shitty movies. He's not a good actor, right? Does that. Married a minor, started doing drugs, got fat, got an entourage, got even fatter, started wearing onesies, doing karate kits. What's up, y'all? It's Pluto. Welcome back to Classic Reactions, where we get into classic hits that I've never heard before. Yes, this is Classic Reactions Comedy Edition. Today, we'll be getting into Bill Burr and his wife arguing about Elvis. Why was Bill arguing with his wife about Elvis? Listen, I don't know. But All right, so on my musical and comedy journey, I've been getting into a lot of Bill Burr and a lot of Elvis. So, I mean, why not listen to Bill Burr talk about Elvis? Hey. I don't know, but let's get into it. Now, I love Elvis, okay? He fascinates me. He's like the first rock star with the power of television. They just intersected, and he went to this, this, he ascended to this level of fame that no one had ever been to before. Hence, he made all the mistakes because there was no one there to help him out, right? So, side note, I have been getting into a lot of Elvis on my page, so make sure you check out those reactions. But with that being said, I am learning exactly what Bill just said. Elvis was one of the first to do so much and break down so many barriers, especially with him being able to be successful in music in television. He ascended so fast. Even when I watch Elvis interviews, which we got into a few interviews on my channel, check those out. But Elvis even said himself, it was kind of hard for him to adapt because everything happened so fast. But either way, I digress. That was just a side note. Let's keep going. He got a piece of shit manager that stole from him. Bam. He stopped making music, started making shitty movies. He's not a good actor, right? Does that. Married a minor started doing drugs, got fat, got an entourage, got even fatter, started wearing onesies, doing karate kits, splitting his fucking pants, nobody's saying shit. You look good, King. You like that? You like when my royal balls hang out? We love it, King. Keep fucking going. Oh, I ain't heard about this side of Elvis yet. Yeah, I did hear that some people do look at Elvis as controversial, but listen, married a minor? Ooh. Elvis, you, oh, I let me do my research. Starts doing pills, gets addicted. He fucking dies alone on a toilet. All right. Not on a toilet. Elvis, addicted to oh. This man kicked open all of those fucking doors for the rest of us. All right. So I sit down and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second, <laughs> all right? Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now, I hate saying that, because it makes it seem like I'm gonna start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes? And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? <laughs> The black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. All right? <laughs> it's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. <laughs> All right? Listen, he might be on to some. Now, Bill. How did we go from Elvis to your wife being black? Let's let's get to the punchline. It's gonna be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. I'm not gonna lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. But at the end of the day, it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And uh, she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing. But she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see. But I knew I was missing it because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing. Just sitting next to me being like... <sighs> 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 
And I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. <laughs> it's crazy how two people can watch the same thing and have like a totally different perspective based off their reality and their upbringing. That's life. Crazy. I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. <laughs> so right when, I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it could get any more uncomfortable between the two of us, this fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 190 years old. And he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty, nasty blues and combine it with the pristine, angelic sounds of bluegrass. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was subtly putting black shit down here while he was propping up the white shit. You know, the down and dirty, daddy not sticking around, drug infested neighborhood blues with the Jesus as white as me, hair the color of the sun, angelic bluegrass playing music, right? So at this point, my wife has like fucking steam coming out of her ears. So I make a judgment call. I, I just fucking shut it off, right? And she looks at me, she's like, why did you shut that off? Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. Listen, I don't know. Bill is not making a good case for Elvis. Y'all defend your boy in the comments because woo, these are some crazy allegations. Let's just, just, just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? It's like, it's, I don't want to fucking do that. I just want to watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting there watching TV. And not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know why? Because not for nothing, there was some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with, you know? I'm not huffing and puffing. Yeah, I said that. Like a fucking idiot. I love it. Literally my favorite joke so far. You know, black people, I'm black, by the way, if you didn't know, obviously. Listen, us black people, we will definitely pull a card on you. And when you turn around and pull it on us, we like, did you did you just try me? So I love that he turned it around on his wife. Like, listen, I feel some type of way too. And she just looks at me. She's like, like what black people? Like what black people that said what? And at that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. Now you got to have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right. All right, the black guy brought up leg shaking. Saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like, really? Leg shaking? No, nobody thought to, 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 to fucking do this. Black people came up with that. You're telling me that? I'll even give you that. Let's say you came up with that. But where did that black dude learn how to do it? Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing. He's just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking. Okay, it's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame, he's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like. Ooh, Lord. Now, y'all, do y'all agree? Let me know. Listen, again, don't sh shoot me. I'm not the one saying it. I am listening just like y'all. So, I mean, listen, tell me below. Do you guys agree with Bill's sentiments of Elvis appropriating black culture and taking from the black culture and making it more popular, basically because he was more mainstream based off of him being a white man? and He was able to capitalize off of black culture. Now, listen. I don't know much about all of that. I just started getting into Elvis, so I would be a lie if I sat up here and said, listen, Elvis stole from us. I'm a, I don't like Elvis. Listen, do my, I got to do my research, but I'm just here for the music, here for the fun, here for the last. That's it. All right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Fair enough. You made about seven or eight good points there that I can't refute. <laughs>
He, he appropriated a culture. I get it. You're right. She goes, fine. Thank you. And I go, however, <laughs> not for nothing, do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard and you start going down the fucking street? <laughs> do I get all offended like, hey, man, that's some white shit. Stop appropriating my culture, man. Some dirty white kid in Santa Monica came up with that, man. So she starts laughing. And I should have stopped there, but I'm a comedian, right? I'm like, oh, I'm getting a laugh. There's got to be a bigger laugh, so keep going, Bill. Let's come with another example. So I'm like, yeah, do I get mad at you when you fly from L.A. to New York in under six hours? And she just, yeah. yeah. And she just stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. Shout out. Well, he got a point. Shout out to the Wright brothers for discovering airplanes or building airplanes or however the story goes. Now, with that being said, you guys, Bill Burr is hilarious. I love his relatable comedy. And listen, you guys, we got so much more comedy coming. This month, we have a whole new segment coming for comedy. Yes. So if you guys really like the comedy reactions, let me know below which comedians you want me to check out next. Which stand-ups from Bill Burr? Because I, I really like Bill Burr. So I will be getting more into Bill for sure. But I really want you guys' opinions on what comedians we should get into on my new segment, The Laugh Lounge. Yes, we'll be laughing, we'll be lounging, and we'll be talking a little... Eh.